Hi guys, what's going on? It's Dan here. Welcome to the fifth versus episode where we are testing out the budget sports cars. I'm gonna be in the Banshee, costing a one hundred and five thousand dollars, and it is based off the Dodge Viper RT10. I am in the Elegy, which costs a grand total of zero dollars because it's free. Or is it based on the Nissan GTR? I am in the Vista Comet based off of the Porsche 911 GT2 RS and costing in on this game at $100,000. cars we are testing today but first as always we're going to find out how fast they are around our test track which means handing these cars over to our untamed racing driver um um before we uh give the cars over to the untamed racing driver actually dan some say that he was in prison last week and that mm -hmm. is true so um i've parked the van around the back we don't have to go and pick him up but i'm uh can, can you come and help me, Tom? Just yeah. He's a bit, he's a bit yeah. uh... He is on pain. numbers, he guys. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, we'll, see, luck. we'll see you in a minute, Dan. We'll see you in a minute. Okay, so off the line, the LG is quicker than the other two because of its four-wheel drive. But the Banshee being the most powerful of these three is going to accelerate itself quickest up the main straight and be the first to the first corner. Around the first corner, it's still pretty tight between them. It's not until the first chicane where we see that the LG is a lot more controlled than the other two cars. It can put its power down a lot quicker and gets through that corner much quicker than the other two. And the same in the sh second chicane as well. The Comet has some slight issues with oversteer. It can't put its power down quite as efficiently as the other two cars. The Banshee is more the same as the Elegy, it can put its power down quite well, but it doesn't have that four-wheel drive system that the Elegy does, and so the Elegy is much quicker around all of the corners, but slowest on the straights due to its lower power rate. But it still gets across the line first, followed by the Banshee, and then the Comet. Right. Now it's time to find out how fast these cars are in a straight line. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Ready! Okay, gonna fire a flare up now. Visibility's not very good. Very good. Whoa. My head! No, I'm not. Not a good launch from the Banshee, but oh my god, it's pulling I had a, I had a bloody good launch that time. The launches were pretty much identical between the Energy and the Vista. I think I'm gaining back on you, actually, Dan. It's not gonna be enough. So after the cruise we are now going to talk about the looks and sounds of these cars and we'll begin with the sound of the Elegy. I don't really like the way the Elegy sounds to be honest, I think it's quite flat, quite boring, there's nothing special about it. I'd have to agree with Sean there, there's nothing really fancy about it, it's just, it just sounds the same as some of the other cars on this game. I didn't find it too bad, I, I, I do see what they mean why it's very basic, but it, the turbo on that is kind of nice, 
so I classed it as second place. But if you're talking about um, hearing the turbo in a car, then I'd, I'd prefer the Banshee um, because you can hear the, the Banshee sounds more like a supercharger than a turbocharger, but I don't think they have those on this game. Um, and it has a really, it has the most refined sound of the three as well. Um, I think the Banshee was my favourite sound car just because of that. Um, it was a, it was hard to pick between the um, Comet and the Banshee, but I believe the Banshee was better because it just sounded like a lot deeper, and I liked it a little bit more than the other car. I, I, the, mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can un I can understand what you guys mean. Where the the supercharger is very prominent in the Banshee, and even the sound without the the turbo or supercharger or whatever is in the car, it still sounds pretty awesome. For me though, I th I think the Comet sounds the best, um, simply because it's the it's the loudest and most aggressive sound. It's not I I I do admit it's not an as refined sound as the Banshee, and you don't have that sort of turbo the supercharger wine but i really like how loud and aggressive it is anyway i do like the sound of the comet as well but the banshee just tops it for me um as i said the banshee's got a bit of a lower grumble i think um and also the comet i think is kind of <laughs> i think it's perfectly in between the kind of elegy and the banshee i wasn't too keen on the the sound of the comet i they have tried to make a different sound, like a unique sound with that car, but I I don't find it very, like a very nice sound, in my opinion. I think you agreed with me though, didn't you, Dan? That the Comet Elise looks the best. Yeah, for sure. It's it's the most sleek design, I guess, out of the three. It's the yeah. smallest as well, which I always like, um, and it, it it's got the most sporty styling. Um, downsides would just be the fact that it is it is based on the basic shape of a Porsche 911 but with this sort of big body kit added on the side which sort of ruins the styling a bit but I still think it looks better than the other two. I think the Comet just looks plain and boring really there's not much to it um, they've tried to make it a look a bit more exciting but I believe it's pretty boring so that's why I put it as my second car but we'll get on to the Banshee in a minute. I agree completely with what Sean says about the Comet. It hasn't had to try too much to make it look like a, a good car. It's kind. The design features are kind of like the Massacro, but they haven't had to try too hard to make it look good. It just looks good anyway. Tom, though, you, you have a different opinion of what's best. Yep, I believe the, en uh, the Elegy looks the best because... It's just, like, as I said with the Comet, it's, like, plain and simple. But with the Elegy, it's just more exciting. There's more going on there rather than the other two cars. Um, yeah, there's definitely more going on with the Elegy, but that, in my opinion, isn't a good thing. Um, there's too much going on with it. There's too many vents and splitters, etc. And the overall shape of it, it is just a big rectangular box basically I um, mean it's massive in comparison to the other two cars as well which is just a downside for me as well Tom yeah I think you <laughs> what <laughs> I think I think the elegy is the worst looking of the three because it's trying too hard to look good and it just looks bad anyway there's too much going on and it's way too big for the classic car that it should be I'd rather be in the car that's more exciting than the car that a middle-aged 50-year-old man would drive who's single and has, doesn't have a wife. Who would, who, what 50-year-old man do you know drives a Dodge Viper? <laughs> or a, or a talking about the car. <laughs> mate, you're drunk, mate. <laughs> we'll get on to the middle ground then with the looks, which would be, <clears throat> which would be the Banshee, um, because it is... In terms of size, it's between the two. It's not massive like the Elegy. It's not quite as small as the Comet. Um, it's not got all of the complicated, annoying details on the Elegy. It's just as simple as the Comet, and probably more sort of sleek and curvy. Um, 
I think it looks really good. It just doesn't have an as good styled for me as the Comet does, but it's much better than the LG. It's a lot simpler and a better shape as well. Um, I think the Banshee is just it's just too long, too big. Let's look at the front of it. It's too just... big. Too big. You like the LG, mate? <laughs> Let's just look at the front of the or the bonnet of the car. It's just so long. It just that's half of it for me, which I don't like it. But the other half is just, it's just meh. Meh. It's just meh. <laughs> well, in my opinion, I think the Banshee came second. I think for me, between the three, it's a very low-profile car. What you expect in a sports car, and it just looks good. You can't really, you can't really say much about it. And you can put a white stripe on it. Yeah, that makes it. Bring it home, Sean. Give us the so, results. The Comet wins the uh, visual evaluation. And the Elegy loses with its stupid styling and boring shape. And then for sound, it was quite close between the Comet and the Banshee. Um, but because of the mixed opinions, overall the Banshee wins um, with its supercharged wine, etc. And um, once again, the Elegy loses because it's just quite flat and boring toned with its exhaust sound. So now we are on to the final round, customization, and we'll begin with the Elegy. This has 23 unique upgradable components. It has five bumpers, the carbon front spitter, the spitter with canards, the carbon rear diffuser, painted rear bumper, and painted bumper and diffuser. Two exhausts, the titanium dual exhaust and the race exhaust. Two grills, the black grill and the exposed intercooler. Three hood upgrades, the vented hood, the double vented hood and the carbon hood, one roll cage, the roll cage and chassis upgrade, one roof upgrade, carbon roof, four skirt upgrades, custom skirt one, two, three and four, and five spoilers, the GT wing, the carbon wing, the tuna wing, high level spoiler and the low level spoiler. Okay, onto the Banshee now. This has a total of nine unique upgradable components. It has one additional bumper, the carbon front bumper, two exhausts, the dual exit exhaust, and the big ball exhaust, two hood upgrades, the vented hood and the carbon hood, one roof upgrade, the option to have no roof at all, and three spoilers, the high level spoiler, the mid level spoiler, and the drift wing. And finally onto the Comet, this has seven unique upgradable components, which is the least out of the three. It has one bodywork upgrade, the arched extensions you can have above your wheels, two bumpers, the spitter with carnards and the spitter with twin carnards, one exhaust, the dual shotgun exhaust, one roll cage, the roll cage and chassis upgrade. And finally, two spoiler upgrades, the high level spoiler and the GT wing. Here are the results of this week's video. The winner was the Bravado Banshee with 26 points, closely followed by the Elegy with 24 points. And last was the Fista Comet with 22 points. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.